When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. for a few moments what our life would be like if we could access let's say 20% of our brain's capacity if you want to have something show up in your life the kind of person you would like to become manifest something new into your life something powerful whatever it might be you obviously must first be able to imagine it your imagination is able to do all that you ask in proportion to the degree of your attention. So what kind of attention do you place on your desires? Einstein's most famous quote, one of his most famous observations, he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. Logic will get you from A to B, but imagination will take you everywhere. Make your future dream a present fact by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. That which you feel yourself to be, you are. And you are given that which you are. So assume the feeling that would be yours were you already in possession of your wish. And your wish must be realized. So live in the feeling of being the one you want to be and that you shall be. If this assumption about what you would like to become is persisted in until it becomes your dominant feeling, the attainment of your ideal is absolutely inevitable. You must first assume the feeling of a wish fulfilled in all aspects of your life. Don't allow anybody else's opinions. Don't allow what it says on the internet. Don't allow the research. Don't allow what anybody out there tells you is possible or not possible for you. If you advance confidently in the direction of your own dreams and endeavor to live the life which you have imagined, you will meet with a success unexpected in common hour. It will chase after you if you can place into your imagination what it is that you would like to attract and begin to feel it. Start retraining your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind, it responds to what it is that you suggest to it. Your subconscious mind rules your life. 96 to 97 percent of everything that you do is done as a result of your subconscious mind. And when your subconscious mind gets programmed, it goes ahead and responds to whatever it is your conscious mind has placed into it. You are the creator. This is the mystery. This is the great secret known by the seers and prophets and mystics throughout the ages. This is the truth that you can never know intellectually. Many of you, as I have been, as I am, are where you are in your life based upon what you believe. And it's not just what you think you believe on the surface, also your shadow beliefs that are holding you back from moving into the life that you believe you deserve. What I know is if we're not looking at the shadows, we're not looking at what is subconsciously running through the tape in your mind, telling yourself you're not good enough, you're not worthy enough, you're not smart enough, you are not enough, which is a tape that's playing for a lot of people. If you're not conscious of that, then you end up acting out of that belief system. 
and not out of what you know to be the truest or want to be the truest for yourself. You are where you are today in part because of what you've been saying about yourself. Words are like seeds. When you speak something out, you give life to what you're saying. If you continue to say it, eventually that can become a reality. You are planting seeds when you talk. At some point, you're going to eat that fruit. My challenge is make sure you're planting the right kind of seeds. If you want apples, you have to sow apple seeds. If you want oranges, you can't plant cactus seeds, poison ivy seeds, mushroom seeds. You're going to reap fruit from the exact seeds that you've been sowing. In other words, you can't talk negative and expect to live a positive life. You can't talk defeat and expect to have victory. You can't talk lack, not enough, can't afford it, never get ahead, and expect to have abundance. If you have a poor mouth, you're going to have a poor life. And this is great when we're saying things like, I'm blessed, I'm strong, I will accomplish my dreams, I'm coming out of debt. That's not just being positive, you are prophesying victory, prophesying success, prophesying new levels. Your life will move in the direction of your words. But too many people go around prophesying just the opposite. I never get any good breaks. I'll never get back in shape. Business is slow. I'll probably get laid off. Flu season is here. I always get it. They don't realize they are prophesying defeat. It's just like they're calling in bad breaks, mediocrity, lack. You don't become what you want because so much of wanting is about living in the space of what you don't have. That's why Jim Carrey's story is so powerful because he started to act as though he already had it. He could go up to Mulholland Drive, he could drive away saying, thinking, I already have those things. I just haven't accessed them as yet. I believe those things are going to come to me and I'm going to act like they are. So I'm going to move forward in my life in order to draw that to myself in such a way that my actions are in alignment with what I say. I believe. So if you start to think about that, really, why are you where you are in your life? The choices that you have made have been because of what you believe to be true for yourself. The time is now. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great. People in this world shun people for being great, for being a bright color, for standing out. But the time is now to be okay to be the greatest you. You can talk yourself out of your destiny. Negative words can keep you from becoming who you were created to be. Don't fall into that trap. Quit calling in defeat. Quit talking about how it's not going to happen. You should write down your goals. Write down what you want to see happen in life. Any areas that you're struggling in where you need to improve, write it down like it's already done. And then every day, declare that decree. Read over it a couple of times out loud. It's not enough to just think it. Something happens when we speak. You have to prophesy your future. Those words will get down on the inside of you. They'll not only change your outlook, but they will change who you are. Your words will become your reality. 